What up, y'all? I'm Bokeh Bob, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Naya Keys 2 switches from Keyput. Before we get started, I always like to make it clear that these switches were sent to me for review from Keyput. However, all opinions are my own and from my experiences using the switches. I usually type on these switches for about a week before dropping a switch review. I bring the board to work and I just type on it for the week. Also, it'd be greatly appreciated if you can drop kick that like and subscribe button as it helps me grow my channel and provides you with more unbiased reviews in the long run. Now, let's check out these switches. Hit the B-roll, baby. Two reviews in a row without a long pull linear. Crazy, right? Seems like every switch today is a long pull in the current market. The two switches from Naya Keys are manufactured by Jersey, who is a newer manufacturer to us in the Western world, but there's been switches here and there that have come out from them. Vendors like Stupid Bullets Techs also carry switches from Jersey, which I've tried and I've liked. There's very little known about this manufacturer. I'm sure if I dug or you dug more, you could find some more. But from what I have noticed is that their switches do come factory lubed and they're actually really solid. No weird crunching or pinging, and of course, they're very smooth. Let's open them up, check them out, and of course, we'll see how they sound in the mode envoy. The top and bottom housing are both made from a Palm plus UPE mixture, which is very unique, and I'm not sure if this combination has been used before in any other switch, but this is the first time I'm seeing it. The stem is POK, which is a newer material we are starting to see in other switches. And lastly, a 65 gram, 22 millimeter single stage spring allows you to clack away with a snappier return. These switches do have a 3.7 millimeter travel, however they are still not a long pull as the stem sliders bottom out on the bottom housing instead of the center pull of the stem bottoming out on the bottom housing. They're also very lightly lubed, and because they're factory lubed, they do pass my lazy test. You can use these right out of the box, as you will hear, and it'll be 100% gravy baby. At the end of the day, it doesn't hurt to go in and hand lube your switches as you'll get a better typing experience from this. Before we hear these switches, I always like to remind everyone that the mode envoy you see in all my switch review videos is always built exactly the same. Palm plate with no foam and GMK keycaps. Let's get the clacking, baby. Now let's get into the perks and quirks. Right off the bat, these switches are very affordable at 37 cents a switch. Nice. Which is amazing for a 100% usable switch right out of the package into your keyboard. I would put these into the budget category in terms of price. However, their sound isn't budget. It's definitely a mid-range sounding switch and overall I like it. In terms of quirks, this time around I really can't find anything that'll make me say don't buy these switches to anyone looking for them. 
Overall, it's a solid switch that can be used right out of the box. And in terms of sound signature, I would say it's a mid-level pitch clack. It's clacky, but it's not that super high pitch clacky. Now this comes down to my recommendation. I don't think I would say go out of your way and buy these switches. There's no real hype here in terms of sound and signature. However, if you've been eyeing them and like the way they sound, I would say they're a solid buy. They're very affordable and from my experience, have no issues whatsoever. Have you tried jersey switches in the past? If so, what was your experience with this manufacturer? Both switches that I have tried from Jersey have been great and the factory lube has been pretty good. These are very lightly lubed so you're not going to have to worry about over lubing. I would say they're in line with either B-Sun or HMX in terms of their factory lube. As always, check out some of my content here. Remember to like and subscribe and have a wonderful rest of your week. Hey, and enjoy your holiday season. For those in the USA, happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much turkey. Bob out.